Welcome to the Craps Lab. Let's talk about probability, true odds, payouts, and the house advantage. Odds. What are they? Odds identify what you can expect to win based on what it will take to win that amount. An example is an event that pays 7 to 5, also expressed as a ratio 7 to 5, means you can expect to win $7 for every $5 you bet on that event. Payouts. What's the difference? Odds provide the ratio of how much you win based on how much is required to win that much. A payout is the amount won based on your bet size and the bet's odds. Example. The odds of winning a place bet on 5 are 7 to 5. If you place a $15 bet on the 5 and it hits, you win $21. To calculate the payout, we take the amount bet divided by the odds bet amount, which gives us the units bet, and then multiply that by the odds amount to win. So the payout equals the units bet times the odds amount to win. In our example of betting the 9 for $10, we take the $10 our amount bet, divide it by the odds bet amount of $5 to determine our units bet, which is two, we bet two units, and then we multiply that times the amount to win for the odds of $7, giving us a total payout of $14. Payouts. Why are they important to know? Understanding how odds correlate to bet payouts will help you make bets that you understand the expected amount won based on your bet. It will increase your confidence and help the game move smoother. Basic Craps Bets There are several basic craps bets that pay one to one. They include the pass line bet, the come bet, don't pass bet, don't come bet, and I'm throwing the field in there, pass line. The pass line pays one to one. On the come out throw, it wins on a seven or 11. It loses on a two, three, or 12. Any other result sets the point. The shooter must throw that number again before a 7 to win. Come bet. The come bet pays 1 to 1. After placed, the next throw determines win, lose, or a number needed to hit again for a win. If the throw is a 7 or 11, the come bet wins. If it's a 2, 3, or a 12, the come bet loses. Any other result travels the come bet to that number. If rolled again before the 7, it wins or else it loses. Don't pass bar. The don't pass bar pays one to one and is the opposite of the pass line, typically betting against the shooter. On the come out roll, the don't pass bar wins on a roll of two or three. It pushes, no win, no loss, on a roll of 12. It loses on a roll of seven or 11. Any other roll results in establishing the point. If the shooter rolls a seven before rolling that number again, the don't pass bar bet wins. If the shooter rolls their point before a 7, your don't pass bar bet loses. Don't come bet. The don't come bet is a bet that the next number rolled will not be rolled again before a 7. When placed, a don't come bet loses on a 7 or 11. It wins on a 2 or 3. It pushes on a 12. Any other roll, the dealer will travel the don't come bet, commonly referred to as DC, at the player's discretion. If the bet travels, it wins if the shooter rolls a 7 before the number it travels to. Field bet. The field bet pays 1 to 1 and gives the player a win if any of the following numbers are rolled on the next roll. 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, or 12. The 2 and 12 pay double if they are rolled, and some casinos pay triple on the 12. This is a one-time roll, meaning it wins or loses on the next roll of the dice. It is self-serve, so pay attention to your bet in the field. Taking odds. Now that you're introduced to basic craps bets that pay one to one, let's elevate your betting knowledge to the next step, taking odds. To place odds, commonly called backing up your bet after the point or come, don't come is established, place chips behind your bet. This indicates you are taking odds and are going to get paid at the true odds for the number the bet is covering. Pass line odds. Often referred to as backing up your pass line bet with odds, it pays the true odds of the point established, only available after a point is established and you have a pass line bet. The most money you can add in odds depends on the casino max odds limit. All casinos are different. Some allow two times odds on any point, meaning the most you could bet 
in odds is twice your pass line bet. Some go as high as 100 times. Odds can be added or removed at any time, but don't touch them if the point is made until you have been paid. Combat odds. Combat odds are established in two steps. First, place a combat, red arrow number one. Second, the shooter rolls the dice and does not pay the combat immediately, so the bet moves to the number rolled, red arrow number two. After the combat is established, the player can bet true odds on their combat, following the exact same rules around pass line odds. The player can press or remove their combat odds at any time. There is another, lesser known method of establishing a combat, and that is called the put, where a player puts up a combat with odds, usually max, any time after the point is established. Odds do not work on the come-out roll unless directed by the player. If the shooter throws a 7 on the come-out roll, the dealer will save their odds and return them to the player. Buy bets. Betting a number is rolled before the 7. Most local casinos require 5% VIG of the bet amount at the time of placing the buy bet. A lot of the Las Vegas casinos are auto-buy the 4 and 10 bets, some as low as $10, and you only pay when the shooter hits your buy bet. Example. Buying the four for $20, up to $25, will cost you 5% of the bet, or $1. Every time the shooter hits a four, while the player has it bought, earns them two to one, true odds, and costs them another 5%. The buy can be made at any time, but is typically placed after the point is established. The four and 10 are typically bought at lower dollar bets. The cost of the VIG is more than the additional win amount on the six and eight, and only when you get to above $350 on the five and nine as you have to pay it at the time of buying the number. Don't pass odds. Only available if a don't pass bar bet was established on the come out roll. Players can add don't pass odds up to, but not exceeding the table max odds on the amount of the win. Example, a four times max odds on a point of five with a $10 don't pass bet on the come out. The maximum win is four times $10 or $40. The player would have to lay $60 at true odds of 2 to 3, winning 2 for every $3 bet, to win the max. The player can add or remove odds at any point after the come out, but not exceed the max odds. Don't come odds. After a point is established, a player can bet a don't come bet, the red arrow number 1, if the shooter rolls a 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, also known as a box number, the don't come better can travel their bet to that number and elect to place the true odds, not to exceed the table max odds, limit on the winning amount. An example, player places $10 bet on the don't come, shooter rolls a 9, dealer travels the player's DC bet to the 9, and the player places $60 on a 4 times max odds table to win $40 at true odds of 2 to 3. Lay bets. Betting against the number. Always work regardless if the puck is on or off. To turn those bets off, the player must take them down. Cost 5% VIG of the win amount. Example, $40 lay on a 4 at 1 to 2 pays $20, and 5% of the 20 is $1, so it would cost $41 to lay the 4. They can be made at any time, it doesn't matter, lay on the come out, or after the point is established. Place bets. Bets on the box numbers 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10 are controlled at the player's direction are called place bets. Typically, players will play certain numbers, maybe dependent on the current point, or even all the numbers. The table minimum bet will determine how much you have to bet to play the box numbers. Place bets. Place bets are where players place their bets in the center, typically in the come bet area, and call out their bets to the dealer. Unit size. Place bets on the outside, 4, 5, 9, and 10, have a $5 unit size. Place bets on the 6 and 8 have a $6 unit size. As long as your bet is divisible by the unit size for that number, you will get paid correctly and receive the maximum odds for your bet. Table minimums. When you approach the table, pay attention to the table minimum as this will determine the minimum amount for all one-to-one -one payout bets and place bets. An example, a $10 minimum to cover the 4, 5, 9, and 10 will cost you $10 each. The 6 and 8 would cost $12 each. This is where a lot of fun, and not fun when they aren't hitting, 
occurs on the craps table. The payouts, six and eight pay $7 for every $6 bet. Five and nine pays $7 for every $5 bet. Four and 10 pays $9 for every $5 bet or $2 for every $1 bet if it's bought. Here's a closer look at the box numbers. In this diagram, I have a red arrow labeled the stick man pointing to the left. I have a red arrow labeled base dealer pointing straight up. I indicate that this is the right side of the table. A lot of times new players are not familiar with where their money goes when they make a place bet. And what I've done is I've marked on the eight, the eight different player spots around this side of the table from the base dealer's perspective. As a base dealer, from their left, they're going to pay out pass line winners in the order of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they will go around the table clockwise direction to them. Likewise, when they play place bets, they will pay from the stick first and then back towards them. So they will pay eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here's also a, a look at the odds in the box numbers with their sister number. Six and eight are sister numbers. Five and nine are sister numbers. And the four and 10 are sister numbers. And that's because they have the same odds. Center bets. Looking for a gamble? You will find that in the center of the craps table. These bets have the longest odds on the table. They are not impossible bets, but you will see when we discuss the house advantage that these bets are low probability and the payouts are significantly lower than their true odds. That said, there is no feeling like calling a 30 to 1 long shot on a single throw of the dice and hitting it. Hard ways. Cost, $1 minimum. Payouts, 4 and 10 pay 7 to 1. 6 and 8 pay 9 to 1. The dice must show up paired like the dice in the picture to win the hard way. Hard ways are individual bets requiring a $1 minimum. You can bet 1, 2, 3, or all 4. Simply call out all the hard ways and toss in your money to the center. Pro tip, bet a dealer tip on the hard way along with your bet. If you win, they win the dollar plus the odds payout. Any seven. Cost, $1 minimum. Payout, $4 to $1. And you're still up on your bet. Any craps. It covers the 2, 3, and 12. You can bet the 2, 3, or 12 individually for $1. Or you can play the any craps bet for $1. Any craps pays 8 for 1 or 7 to 1 while the three pays 15 to one, the two and 12 pay 30 to one. You get a combination of all three for $1 pays $7 if you hit any one of the three. This bet is often used to hedge the pass and come bets on the come out roll. 11, more commonly heard as yo or yo 11 to not be misunderstood as seven, costs $1, pays $15 for every $1, it's a minimum $1 bet. Horn bet combines the any craps and the yo bet into a single bet. Costs $4 per unit. The payouts are 3 and 11, pay $15, minus $3 for the losing components of the horn. The 2 and 12 pay $30, minus the $3 for the losing components of the horn, and you're still up on the horn after winning. Another option for the horn is to call out a horn high and then the number you want to be high on. You throw an extra dollar. Typically, people throw $5 into the center to bet the horn and then call out horn high 2, horn high 3, horn high 11, horn high 12 to indicate they want the extra dollar for their horn bet to go on the number called out. It costs $5 per unit and it payouts are 2 or 12 if it's the high number in hits, it pays 57. If it's the low number in hits, it pays 26. If the 3 or 11 is the high number, they pay out $27, and the low still pays out $11. And you're still up on the next roll. World, or Whirl, combines any 7, any craps, and yo 11. It costs $5. If the 7 is rolled, it's a push. If the 3 and 11 are rolled, 3 or 11, $11 and you're still up. 2 and 12 is $26 and you're still up. Hop bets. 
hop bets are bets that the player can call out. And on the next roll of the dice, if it matches the number they called out, they win. If it doesn't, they lose. Hop bets are bet in combinations. You can call out easy or hard. Uh, you could call out specific combinations. For instance, the five has two combinations, three, two, and four, one. And there's two combinations for each. Pay 15 to one. Hard ways, pay 30 to one, as there's only one in 36 chance of throwing that on the next throw. You can also hop the sevens and get a slightly better payout than any seven. Any seven pays four to one. Hopping sevens pays 15 to one. You'll end up with $13, $12 on a $3 any seven bet. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like the content I am providing and helps my channel get found by other craps players.